Welcome. Today, I'm going to take the opportunity to discuss and talk about some things that's been on my mind for a while that I feel the need to open up about. And hence the name and hence the reason that I decided to rename my channel from Redivine Tarot the Empress to Empress Tarot 1111. So we're going to do for the ones that are seeing 1111, we're going to do what message are you trying to get through to me, okay? What are the angels trying to tell you, okay? Because I remember my experience with when I first began to see the numbers 11 and 11. It was about, about 10 years ago. I started seeing the number 11, 11. I started seeing them all the time. I started seeing it everywhere. Like if I was riding, I would see it on license plates. I would see it on billboards. If I get my change back, I'll get back $11 and 11 and 11 cents, or it'll just be a lot of ones, you know, on the receipt paper. It was just like constant synchronicities, you know? And one day it just hit me like, there's no way that this could be a coincidence. Oh yeah, even on microwaves. And I just, for the life of me, it's just like, how every time I just coincidentally walk in here and this is here on the microwave like that. Like, it was just so, oh my gosh. Like for a minute, I thought that I was literally going crazy. Like, I'm like asking other people and they're like, no. And until I started doing the research on it, until I started to, you know, one day I just decided I'm going to get on Google. I want to get on Google. And this was, you know, I really wasn't into YouTube. I didn't really think to, oh, let me look on YouTube and see. I just, you know, took to the, the um, internet and I Googled, why do I keep seeing 1111? And, you know, I started doing my research and, you know, it came, became a little clear, but it really took some time for me to kind of understand why I was seeing repeating numbers. Okay, so we're going to openly discuss this. We're going to openly talk about these type of things. Be open to ask any questions in the comment section. You know, I feel like I need to make an open space for this type of conversation because a lot of times when people are, you know, brought into divination work like tarot and stuff like that they are normally called or you know to do this type of work okay so i feel like i need to make this space open and okay for you guys to come in and we can discuss this okay so we're going to do this is a segment we're going to go from angel numbers 11 11 all the way through 999 okay so welcome don't be afraid to ask questions, and I'm here for you guys. All right, so normally, guys, when you see the number 1111, you got to think about what you're thinking. What are you thinking about when the number 1111 appears, okay? What are you thinking about? Because one thing about this 1111 is a very strong number okay it's a very strong vibration you also have to think about this okay the things that you are thinking can manifest into your reality so when you are seeing the number 1111 if there's some type of negative thoughts or a negative perspective or a negative way of looking at things hey come back to your senses it always does that for me like, I could be doing something. I could be on the phone, and I'm having my girl time, and we're talking. And, you know, we're just like, oh, you know, ooh, woo, 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 woo. And then it's just like, soon as I do my phone like this, let me see what time it is. And it's 11, 11. Oh, I immediately snap back into, oh, you know, give me a minute. Give me a minute. But my friends, they understand. They'll get quiet and everybody, will, you know, come back down to, you know, hold on now. We're supposed to be keeping our thoughts and our vibrations high, okay? 
So it's a constant reminder for me, okay? But it definitely is a portal, okay? So you wanna think of the best outcome. You wanna make sure that you're feeling your best. You wanna make sure that you're giving the best vibrations because the things that you're thinking and the way that you're feeling, okay, can manifest into your reality, okay? So you have to remember that when you're seeing the numbers 1111, okay? So I want to see what message the angels have for you. If you've been seeing the number 1111, okay? If you've been seeing the number 1111, all right? Let's see what angel message we have for you. What message do you have? All right, we have look through your situation, okay? We have look through the situation, okay? The situation that is in front of you needs to be reviewed, okay? And you need to self-reflect, okay? Look at yourself. Think about yourself in the situation, okay? Something about a situation needs to be thoroughly looked through. Okay, so we're going to get the message straight from the book, okay? And I am using the Indigo Angel cards, okay? I love this deck. I absolutely love this deck. Okay, so we're going to do look through your situation. Let's see. All right, so with look through your situation, this is you may get caught up in the emotions of in a situation and feel stressed or frightened. This card reminds you that life will continue long after you've gotten through this challenge and forgotten all about it. The angels ask you to concentrate on the good things in your life and see beyond whatever is going on around you. One of the best ways to find a resolution is by releasing the situation and allowing yourself to feel relief. Take time to relax and imagine what it will feel like when this trying time is over. Trust that the angels hear your prayers loud and clear and will help you with resolving every aspect of the situation. All right. So I want to pull a few cards because I want to see... For some of you guys, what is the situation in particular? Okay, I feel like we got a jumper here. We got the Eight of Pentacles. So this could be in regards to a work situation. This could be you feeling like you've trying, you're trying so hard. You're putting in the most effort as you can. Okay, why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Why is the Eight of Pentacles? Okay, I feel like some of you guys are really trying to take action on something, okay? You're trying to take action on something, but what is the challenge? We got the king of earth. The challenge is the king of earth, okay? This could be involving a financial situation, okay? Somebody is spending too frivolously. I want to say that. Somebody is spending too much money. Okay? I do want to say that. Okay? Even though you may be making the money, even though the money you're making um, is there. Okay? Someone is, is spending. Being too frivolous or too cautious with money. Good business decisions given to those less fortunate. Okay, so some some of you guys need to get a saving routine, okay? And this this is the ones that have issues in regards to money, okay? So look through your situation. Look through your situation, okay? Work on a savings plan is what I'm getting. Work on a savings plan. Work on some a way to minimize your spending habits, okay? And then we have self-reflection. Why is self-reflection here? Chariot. Why is chariot here? Queen of Wands again. Mm-hmm. 
I'm telling you, somebody is overspending here, okay? Somebody is overspending. His money is being put all over the place, okay? Um, some of you guys need to reflect, okay? Reflect on how you're going to move forward, okay? What action you need to take to move forward to get out of. Some of you guys are possibly in debt, okay? Some of you guys are possibly, you know, just trying to figure out how are you going to divide your money, where it's going, what what money is going to go where, okay? Let's see what advice we have. What advice is there? What advice do you have? Yep, see, we got purification and detoxation. It's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life. So things that do not serve you, it is time to let go of it, okay? The first card that popped out was ceremonies and celebrations, okay? So some of you guys may be overspending, going out, hanging out, okay? Every time that there's a, a party or every time that there is some type of get-together, there's a lot of money that is being spent, okay? We got increased support. Your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened the doorways to an abundance of help and opportunities, okay? So some someone, maybe you guys could get with some type of support group, okay? There's plenty of them via social media, even on YouTube, that can give you tips on how to save your money, okay? We have divine life purpose. Trust the signs and your inner guidance, which are leading you to fulfillment, okay? So trust trust your intuition. I feel like a lot of you guys, you know, know that you may be overspending or, you know, you may not, you're making, you're making ends meet, but it's like, as soon as it comes in, it goes back out, okay? And then when you, you know, when you, you're, you're thinking on that level like, you know, dang, I'm, I don't have the money. Dang, I don't have, I don't, I don't. When that 1111 comes across and that's the energy that you're thinking on and that's the, you know, the thoughts that you are thinking, that is what is going to manifest into your reality. Situations where it's going to just continue to be a lack of, okay? So get the support that you need, okay? Find ways to lessen the load, all right? All right? So I hope this message was helpful to someone, all right? You guys let me know how you feel about this message in the comment section, okay? Ciao for now. So, guys, synchronicity, okay? Since I just did this video, since as soon as I uploaded this video, I um, went to the store to go get me a snack, and go get me a, a Coke. Went to go get me a Coke. And synchronicity everywhere. Everywhere. I'm riding behind a car, 11-11, on the license plates. I get to the store. My total is $3.33. Now, on the receipt... It says three dollars and sixty-eight cents, but they add on thirty-five cents because I use my debit card. I don't know why they do that, but you know the corner stores they make their own rules. I don't know, but the total came up to three dollars and thirty-three cents, and you know I'm looking, I'm like, and then when I get to the house, let me show you what else just pops up. Okay, where is it? Oh, I got to show y'all this. I got to show y'all this. I said, wait till I tell my subscribers. How do I go to my... Oh, my camera. Because I took a picture of it. Then look at this, guys. I don't know if y'all can see it. But it says 222. Two, two. Okay, 222. Two, two. This is for today, January 15th. 
And I was like, <laughs> I took a screenshot as soon as I walked through the door. I was like, wow. Wow, it's just amazing. You know, this just further confirms that, you know, when you're aligned, okay, when you are aligned and you're in the right path and you're doing things that you're supposed to, the universe has a way of communicating with you, okay? The universe has its way to communicate with you. Most definitely, for sure, for sure. All right, my loves. Talk to you later.